Federal agents swarmed the town of Sealy today with one mission in mind. They're trying to find a Marine veteran accused in the rape of a child. They're looking for this man, Charles Dyer. We're told Dyer is armed and not afraid to use a weapon. Local 2's Mark Boyle is joining us live now in Sealy, which is west of Houston, with an update on the search for this fugitive. Mark? Bill, we have been watching investigators come and go from this very large command post all afternoon following up on possible sightings. The FBI wants this man behind bars before someone gets hurt. Frank Leminski has lived here in Sealy for several years. He has never worried about his surroundings until now. I didn't sleep well last night knowing that this was going on. I mean, I didn't go out to my car to roll up the windows or anything else. I don't know who this guy is. This is the guy he's talking about. 31-year-old Charles Dyer is a Marine veteran from Oklahoma. He was supposed to be in court there last week on charges he molested a child, but skipped that court date and took off. The FBI will not say exactly why it thinks Dyer drove to this town of 10,000 people about 60 miles outside of Houston. All I can say is that information was developed that brought us here. It's incredible. It's the biggest thing happened to Sealy since the, uh, I don't know when. Over the weekend, the FBI evacuated Stephen F. Austin State Park after Dyer was spotted there, but he was not caught. Dyer is believed to be heavily armored, and according to YouTube videos he posted, the self-proclaimed patriot is willing to be violent. His videos call for an armed resistance against the U.S. government. And as for that molestation charge, Dyer has maintained his innocence all along. He says it's all a conspiracy. Now, coming up tonight at 5, you'll hear from neighbors about what they're doing to track down this suspect on their own. For now, reporting live in Sealy, I'm Mark Boyle, KPRC Local 2. Mark, thank you. The FBI says that since we began showing Dyer's mugshot on the air, it has gotten several additional tips about possible sightings. That command post in Sealy could be set up out there for a few more days.